I'm California car accident attorney Neil Schaus. I'm often asked by people, in a rear end collision, is the rear driver always at fault? Or can the lead driver sometimes be at fault? As a general rule, the rear driver is almost always determined to be at fault. Drivers are expected to keep enough of a following distance and to have enough of a reaction time that they can break in time to avoid the car in front of them. But there are three situations in particular when the lead driver can be the one at fault. The first is when the lead driver makes an unsafe turn into the lane. This could be a left turn, a right turn, or a U-turn. If the driver turns into the lane too close to oncoming traffic, then he can be liable even if he gets hit from behind. The second situation is when a driver makes an unsafe lane change. If the driver merges into a lane and cuts off a faster moving vehicle and thus gets hit from behind, he or she can be held liable. Finally, a lead driver who breaks suddenly and for no reason can be at fault. If a driver is going 70 miles an hour down the freeway with the flow of traffic and then suddenly slams on the brakes for no apparent reason, he or she can be at fault even if he gets hit from behind. Keep in mind that every case is different. Even if the police say you are at fault, a good personal injury lawyer can often reinvestigate the accident and prove that it was really the other driver who was at fault. If you or a loved one was injured or killed in a rear-end collision, we invite you to call us here at Schaus Law Group. We can help you to get compensation for your medical bills, your lost wages, your pain and suffering, and oftentimes punitive damages.